Today we are joined by Bridget Condon, who is a JMU alumna and NFL reporter. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Happy for you to have me. So what was your path to joining NFL Network? So I graduated from JMU in 2015, in May of 2015, and then in August, I got a job in Charlottesville working at the local CBS affiliate as a sports anchor and reporter. I was there for two years, and then I joined ABC 11 in Raleigh, North Carolina in September of 2017. I was there for four years, and then I covered college basketball, college football, some Panthers, at ABC 11 and I was lucky enough to get connected with someone at NFL Network and had a couple interviews and then next thing I knew they called me and offered me the job. So what would you say is the importance of networking as a college student and in the professional field? Yeah, I think there's no better thing to do than network. When I was in college, uh, my advisor at the time, Professor Parkhurst, he actually knew somebody who worked at the affiliate CBS station in Charlottesville. He connected me with him and I actually interned with that station while I was still a senior at JMU. And I think that was just so beneficial to start making those connections really before I graduated. So that by the time I really did need a job, they thought about me and they knew that I was out there. And, you know, I think it just worked out so perfectly. There's no better thing to do than to network. And there's not enough people that you can network with. Even if you feel like this person maybe can't help you out, it's still good to start building those relationships for further down. And going into Super Bowl weekend uh, this coming Sunday, what are you looking forward to most? I'm looking forward to just relaxing. This week has been incredibly amazing, but also so busy. I've been on Good Morning Football with NFL Network today, yesterday, and Wednesday, which was a 2 a.m. call time for me because it's an Eastern show. Excuse me. So it starts at 7 a.m. Eastern, which is 4 a.m. out here on the West Coast. So I've been exhausted doing tons of Super Bowl coverage. It's been so fun, but... I'm excited to finally just watch the game. I'll be able to go there and just attend as a fan and sit back and see a really good football game and just kind of relax and, and see who wins. Right. And how would you say uh, with the call times being so early in the morning, uh, what are some things that you like to do to kind of take care of yourself and relax and just take some time off? Yeah, um, I don't really think there's much time off right now to be taken, but just making sure the night before that I have my stories planned out that I want to hit on in the morning so that I'm not rushing in the morning to try and write everything. And, you know, I can still make some adjustments and changes based on breaking news or things that happen in the morning, but really trying to stay prepared as much as possible the night before and then getting to bed early has been so huge. And I think it's the adrenaline and being so excited. So the early morning wake up calls are starting to get to me today, but I've been able to push through with the adrenaline because I'm just so, so, so excited to be a part of Super Bowl coverage. Yeah, I could definitely imagine that excitement. And the last question I have for you, what advice would you give to SMASH students that are looking to go into the sports industry? Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I would say is make sure you really know what you're passionate about, right? Don't let society or friends or family tell you what you're passionate about. Really sit down and think and figure it out. And if you are passionate about sports broadcasting, go for it, go all in. Don't let anyone tell you that it's dumb or you shouldn't do it. A lot of people along the way told me, you know, there's jobs out there that are easier than sports broadcasting because there's a lot of sacrifice. And when you first start out, you're not making a ton of money in a lot of jobs. You know, some people are lucky enough to get a big paycheck in their first job, but it's really not likely. So if you're really passionate about it, that passion will show on camera and it'll take you far. But if you're just doing it for, you know, other reasons, oftentimes people get out of the industry in just a couple of years. So really think about what you are passionate about and just go after that and don't let anyone stop you. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Ms. Condon. And I hope you have an amazing NFL weekend and get to enjoy the game and just relax and just have a great weekend. And that's all for this quarter. Kagan and Shelby, back to you. Thank you.